pretty rushed getting over there uh, you know packing all the gear and stuff in but you know once we got in there we all we were all pretty focused even even i was focused for once you know <laughs> way um <laughs> and uh he just generally got on with it we were we were practiced before going anyway so we we made sure that we were ready for the the session and then i got in there and smashed it <laughs> okay maybe so... cut that last bit Day 6 a.m. Wakey wakey. Logistics. Waiting for Dan. Waiting for Dan. Waiting for Dan. Is that Dan? It's Dan. <laughs> Getting out of the car majestically, look. <laughs> so we had to get up pretty early um, to go get our stuff onto a trolley to then take it over on a ferry to then get it into a taxi to then put it onto a you know, into a hotel then in, on a train. Then eventually, when we finally done all of that, we got into the studio and. Um, we had to start drumming and Dan had to sort of muster up all the energy he could to put on a hell of a performance, which he did. Um, day one, he absolutely smashed out of the park. Um, his hard work, his practice all showed up and we started pushing through the songs real quickly. Welcome to the studio. We're here. We're finally, finally here. Hang on, ready? You're up, boy. No, Time to shine. Once he's had a hey. pee. Wee wee. No, wee wee. Oh, wee wee. Oh, wee wee. I have been working with Dan for since I was 18 years old. He was in a previous band with me. And, um,. Um, once that project ended, I um, I joined I joined Any Road, and he was the one person when we couldn't find a permanent drummer. I said, "Let's bring him in." He is the most loveliest, weirdest person guy I have ever met in my entire life, and I wouldn't change him for anything. He. Uh, Always, he well, he always likes to experiment with things. He's always eager to practice. Um, you know, he, he is Dan. That's all I can say in my own words. <laughs> Dan's role in this band is pretty much an icebreaker, an odd, funny icebreaker. <laughs> um, he's got a great sense of humour. Him and Tom have got a real good back and forth going, like a sort of double act. And whenever things get too serious, he just he just either comes out with something that you don't expect or that will just completely break the silence or just break up the mood. And yeah, he just <laughs> he just lightens any situation. I mean, that's the thing, we've got the chorus. <laughs> you have <laughs> recorded the chorus, so worst yeah. case, I can use that. Yeah. But, let's take the vocals back. Well have it as a decent, yeah. like, one that's proper. Well, I'm just going to take the vocals out. Okay, yeah, cool. Because, yeah. I mean... <laughs> that's my bad evidence, dude, sorry. <laughs> the evidence tells me that um, he played it better when the vocals weren't there. So yeah. That's ob he's obviously following the vocals too much or something. Paralysis. Um, that was the one song that Dan really quite struggled with at the beginning. Um, obviously, um, w w during the demo situation, we sent everything back and forth, but he quite kind of, um, I don't know, it was really, it was, the drum patterns just couldn't quite match up. And obviously, when we went into um, the recording studio, our producer, engineer, was like, Man, I love this song. This song has got to make the cut. So we powered on. 
And that was probably the one song that um, took more than a couple of takes. Yeah. Can you play the chorus bit a sec, please? <laughs> just so I can refresh. So I think we found you were just really pushing the tempo. Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. going to get yourself up here we need to about yeah I just, want to bow. I just want to do ghosts That's what it is. <laughs> couldn't get it right there was something wrong with the, with the rhythm in the back of my head and it just it just threw me so we just carried on for it and then had to come back the next day and just got it down in one it was uh, a bit stressful uh, to say the least um, so I was I was glad that we had more than more than just that one song for the album <laughs> Otherwise, I would have uh, probably taken a lot longer than two days on it. Yeah. Cool, we're just going to pick up from the verse. You just went ahead of the beat. That's all. Really remember to focus on that click. Joining in on verse one. Do you know what? I'm going to, st I'm going to start it right on verse one. Okay, so just join in as soon as you can. How do you feel, Dan? You right? Disappointed by it. Really? Yeah, by that. I'll say, mate. So. You know, when he, like yesterday morning, I was like, "Oh, he can play to a click." Thank God. It's like I've had sessions where the whole thing's like that. Yeah. A whole, a whole album we have to do like that. So just one of them out of eight. Do you know what I mean? It's not bad. It's a shame. It's the worst last thing one. about it is that was the first song that we wrote, and it's the one that we've actually played the most. Yeah. As a, like, I think it's a temp. Band. Do you know what? It's the, t it's the only one. I'm sure most of them are slower. Yeah. Most of them are around 120 to 140, yeah. and that one's 160. So I think it's that tempo where you, you just, for whatever reason, it's not that it's, it's too fast. There. It's yeah. just it's not too fast because you you're pushing ahead of the beat. Yeah. But something about you, your drumming doesn't want to. Lock in. Lock in. When it that. when it hits about one forty, I instantly want to go into dubstep. <laughs> and when it when it gets up above that, I'm like, there's nothing in between one forty and one seven five. Like as yeah. soon as as soon as it goes above, right, it doesn't anything, exist. Yeah, exactly. Anything more than that is either like descendants or drum and bass. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. We started off with a song that Dan wasn't particularly keen on because um, we. had We'd written a few ideas and it came down to two. Um, one idea that he he really liked that the rest of us just didn't feel was very finished. And the other one was paralysis. And Dan's background is mainly electronic music. So for him, it was quite a struggle in the first place to sort of adapt into what we were doing. Um, and when it came to that song... Um, it, I, I don't know if it was because he was tired from the day before and all the tra like, travelling or if he just wasn't feeling it but something wasn't quite coming together correctly so he had to walk away uh, we had to start another song just to get him in the right frame of mind get him warmed up uh, which he absolutely crushed and then later in the day we came back to it once his confidence was restored and he... Yeah, he just, it was a cakewalk. He, something had happened where he just turned into a completely different drummer and this flow of, like, I don't know, it was like confidence in the way he was playing that he didn't have before. And, yeah, it, from that point onwards, he was just on it. 
Oh, we don't want to move. You can do it. We believe in you. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Fun? You get a good job. I'm going outside to relieve my addiction. I thought you were about to say lizard. Yes, I'm going outside to relieve my lizard. <laughs> Don't need too much of a mess now. That's alright, I'll just use the bin. <laughs> Bring fresh bags. <laughs> this is the real stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, what the, the? I can't remember what it is I'm supposed to be playing. <laughs>